And who better to have in the studio with us than Mestura Shitu? Now, she's a female furniture maker, a.k.a. Lady Carpenter. Yeah. Hey! Now, she is back on the show. We're going to be talking about transforming our spaces. We're looking at colors and mood. Welcome back. Welcome Thank you, TA, TA. All right. So, um, being a carpenter, you must have had the opportunity to, or, or you must have come in contact with so many different types of wood furnishing yeah. uh, with your research. And I know you're well-traveled as well. Um, what is it about the color of furniture that really affects your mood? Thank you, Titi. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> okay, so talking about colors, um, a lot of us don't really know that colors has a lot of effect on us. Mm -hmm. And when you, you enter a space, the type of colors you have in there determine the person's personality okay. and also the style of the um, owner of the house. Okay. So we have different type of colors and it's also, uh, we have different effects. Like we're talking about red mm. um, furniture now. Mm -hmm. It evokes energy. Okay. Yeah, it increases your energy level and it also pumps a lot of adrenaline. So oh, if you have, really? yeah, if you have red in a space, like you have so many red and you're feeling so, so energized, you're not sure why this is happening, but it's because of the colors in that space. Okay. Then if you have, let's like, say, a blue in a space, that's actually like the direct opposite of red. Oh. It calms your wow. nerves down wow. and you're, it's um, very refreshing. And you have such colors in bedrooms mm. and all that. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So you could have red in like a, a family room. Yes, you can have red in, or maybe your your walkway. Yes, you can okay. have it because red is daring, is mm. bold, you know. Mm. So you can have. So like I'm, I'm wearing spaces. a lot of red. This, yeah, I could week. see that. And the, the the energy has been on another level. Yeah, it has. that's that that's what it does, and that's why it's also one of the major color for Valentine. It's Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, There's I'm love not, in the hair. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna go there with you. All I'm right. not going there with you. So stay. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to furnishings, um, I feel like so so I've heard of red wood before. Yeah. Right. I've heard of. Oak, I've heard of, you know, so many different Dani, types. Yeah. Um, if, for instance, I was going into an office, what sort of colors would you expect me to have as furniture? Well, it also depends on the owner of the space. So okay. some um, clients will want red oak, mm. some will want mahogany, mm. some will want neutral colors. Okay. Yeah, so it depends on the owner and the type of mood you also want to create mm. when um, you enter your space and what... You want people to also see when they come into your space. Okay. So you can have um, blue, you can have you can have blue uh, office, you can have white office, mm -hmm. and also some um, guys prefer all black or mm -hmm. all brown. You know, mm -hmm. so it all depends on what you. What you're well, what does the all black and all brown tell me about the person that owns that space? That's masculinity. Like mm -hmm. yes, this is it, it's um, mostly for men. Mm -hmm. Well, hardly will you see a woman having such spaces, but okay. black denotes like okay, masculinity. Mm. This space is actually for, you know, a male gender. Okay, okay. Majorly. Um, What about, um, you know, if you're moving on from, let's say, bachelorhood in a space into f a family space. So if, for instance, you're trying to just transform a space that's already got a base color, yeah. um, how would you, what colors would you suggest to move it from a more bachelor-like space to a more family space? Well, that would depend on also the woman coming in. The woman? Yeah. So it, it doesn't have anything to do with the guy at this point? No, no, no. Because, yeah, as a bachelor, you probably have lots of neutral who's mm -hmm. white, black, mm -hmm. you know, neutral. But when a woman is coming in, we have a lot of colors. I mean, mm -hmm. we have... We are sort of light. So <laughs> we bring those uh, brightness into our space. So a woman might prefer, oh, I want a yellow theme. Okay. I want orange. Mm. I want um, neutral hose, you know. Okay. Some will say they want lilac or purple mm. or lavender. Mm. So it all depends on the, 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 the personality of the new person coming into the space. Okay, but you can't do a combination? Can you oh, combine sure. them? You can. You can. Okay. You can combine um, different colors. So we have, um, depending on the wheel of colors, mm. so we have some colors that are complementing and we have some that are complement. Yeah. yeah. So it depends on what you're trying to, to do. So we have some, uh, we can complement yellow with mm. orange. Okay. Yeah, we can complement lilac with gold. Mm. Lilac and gold depict luxury. 
Ooh. class. So when those, those two colors come together, they're actually telling anybody that really understands psychology of color, mm -hmm. this is classy, this mm -hmm. is luxury. Then mm -hmm. also you can do um, a little bit of white ooze or neutral colors also. Mm -hmm. So it depends. Okay, so um, I would love your advice on a children's room theme that is not too color riotish oh, yeah. because a lot of the time you get uh, the cartoon characters that have every single color Colors, under the sun. Yeah. Um, but for you know a, a modest family who wants to just you know try something new in a children's space what colors would you advise they, they choose? Well children talking about it depends on their agenda so okay. male I mean the boys will prefer blue mm. different kinds of shades of blue mm. then some of them will want black and red Oh, wow. Yes. Some Black and red. Yes. Like some. superhero colors. Yes, superhero colors. <laughs> then the girls, I mean, we love subtle colors. Mm. The likes of pink, mm. for shopping, baby pink, lilac, lavender, mm. you know, so it all depends. It love, some of them love yellow, but you should be careful not to have so many yellow in your space, especially if you have babies. Okay. Because research shows that when you have a lot of yellows in a space, the baby tend to cry more, and you're not sure why, why is this baby wow. crying? I've fed this baby. But wow. they also understand psychology of color. Mm. So you need to be very careful when you're trying to create have, your nose. I'm hearing that for the first time. Yes, so yes. is it all types of yellow, sunset yellow, pale yellow, just? Sunset yellow. Sunset yellow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So you need to be, you can introduce just a little bit, mm. but not when you have the whole theme, mm. yellow. No. Okay. No. Okay. All right. So, um, if, for instance, you want a, a particular space where you know that as soon as you enter that space, you're going to sleep, your bedroom, what colors, I know that this, I've heard this before, that there are some colors that help induce sleep. sleep yeah. What colors are those? Well, um, there are a lot of colors that you can have in your bedroom, mm. but I will suggest blue. Mm, okay. Yeah, but what not the dark of shades okay. of blue, the light shades of blue. Mm. Yes, you can also have the teal blue. Hmm. Yes, you can have that. Yeah, and also you can have white. Hmm. So some of us love white. Like white, you know, it's just on, you know, on its class on its, on its own. Hmm. So you can have white in your space and you can have blue. But okay. having orange, some warm colors yeah. might not allow you to have that feel that, okay, I want to go into my bedroom and sleep. Okay. So you're fighting um, some energies in the room that you can't really explain. Wow. But you need to use um, the, uh, what's it called, the warm colors mm. that will tone every, every form of energy down in your space. Um, I'm not sure if it's true. I heard that there's some colors that attract mosquitoes more. <laughs> yeah, am, I, am, I, am, I, am I just, you know, um, I, I'm, well, is it true? I don't think so. You don't think so? No. I really? So. I, I heard that there's some colors that attract mosquitoes to your room more. I don't know, I'm gonna like Google that colors? one. Uh, dark colors, like black. That hmm. there'll be more mosquitoes in your I room. Don't so. you don't I don't think so. You don't? I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> I disagree right. with I've that. always wanted to ask that question. <laughs> but um, we have loads of space for you to ask your questions online. You can do that with our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. It's always great having you in Thank the studio. You. Thank you very much.